everybody, welcome back. This is another awakening video for Soul Hunters. Today we are looking at Mira, the brand new hero that was just released, guys, already. So, as you can see, I've maxed out all of her items. I've got all of them enchanted, even the awakening item, I've enchanted that. All of her abilities are completely done right now, so it is time for us to move on to the next part, and that is the awakening part number two. So let's go right ahead, and as you can already see, I've saved you guys the time. I went ahead and I did Dojo's Ride of the Valkyries, all right? So if you are beginning her awakening anytime soon, whenever you're going to get her, just so you know, part two is dojo. So let's go ahead and let's complete that and move on to part number three and see what we're going to do with this one here. So uh, we just have to complete the stage with nobody being killed. All right, let's take a look at what we're going to do here. We'll use her. I'm going to go ahead and use some of my beasts over here over here and over here let's use all these guys why not these guys will probably destroy this stage too fast but it's all good so i'm um, super excited to see this awakening i'm not sure exactly how she's going to change or what she's going to look like because she just dropped on sunday and today is already tuesday um but it'll be awesome crush them yes we will and then we actually, we're going to do a little bit more with her today because I'm going to try to max her out as much as I can, even Awakened, all right? We're going to give her some ruins. I've saved up some ruins for her. That's number one. And also, um, a couple more things. So stay tuned for that, guys. That should be a pretty fun for her. So it was unwise to stand in my path. Yes, it was. They are retarded. All right, here we go. That's complete. Guys. I need you to get up on your seat right now because this is going to be awesome. And then sit back down, strap on. Let's go. Let's see this awakening. What? <laughs> Whoa. So hold on a second. That's freaking awesome. Alright, so her, wait, what? Her eyes turn red, that's sick, and then it looks like she got a nice new hairdo, like her hair color changed, she got the horns, oh my god, that looks pretty awesome, very, very cool, and look at this, so oh, this is such a big difference from before, wow, I'm loving this guys, this card is pretty freaking sick. Alright, so that's awesome. I love that. And you can kind of tell the difference right there. So, hair color change. I mean, hair color. Hairstyle changes. It just goes backwards now. It's all flowing back. She's pretty badass. Everything is up a little bit more. Now, she's got the facial tattoos. Pretty sick. Okay, let's take a look at what we're going to do. First things first, her ability, we have to try to get this up there a little bit. So, let's take a look at what exactly this does. When she takes a lethal amount of damage, Mera is able to block this damage. Wow. Gain a small amount of health and automatically trigger her ultimate. Jesus scrubizes. This is crazy. The amount of health gained depends on Mera's star level. This ability can only be used once per wave. Alright, restore 6,000 when Mera has 7 stars. Well, she doesn't. She's 5 stars, so I wonder what the difference is. So, it's going up by 90 here. Alright, so at level 21... You can't tell because it only gives you 7 stars. But either way, it's going to be a good amount. 7,000, 6,000 probably. It'll probably go down by 1,000 per star level. So, that's pretty sick, guys. Whenever she takes a lethal... Whenever she's about to get killed, she blocks it and then gains health instead of that. And automatically goes into her ultimate. That's sick. I cannot wait to take that into a battle. But before we do that, let's quickly go ahead and equip her with some ruins, guys. So... If you don't already know, let's quickly take a look at her stats right now. This is what I'm working with right now. She's all physical, all right, guys? Physical attack, physical crit. Physical crit rating is actually pretty good. Not bad at all. Physical pierce rating is not bad either. So let's go ahead to the ruins. And um, I got a physical attack ruin. So let me just... I should just make her an all-out attacker. I have another physical attack here. So I'm going to give her two of those. Here I have two. I have a, a max health. And I have another physical attack. I am leaning towards just making her a crazy killer and giving her all attack for now. That's all I have, but I could give her more health, but I don't think health is really her issue because 
She's gonna die either way. She's pretty... Let me... I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna give her all attack, guys. Just quickly talk about her health really quickly here. So let's take a look. So her health is very low. It's only at 330,000. It's not that bad, but... It's not that high either. Huh. Let's go ahead and see how much her attack grew there. So 3,600 plus another... 1,800, that's actually pretty good. So we have those. Abilities are looking good. For a pet, uh, I just got a bunch of green pets. I don't have any blue pets available right now. Alright, so actually I went ahead and I took Flapper out, one of my other heroes that I didn't really use him for. So I'm going to get... I'm gonna give uh, Mary a flapper here. It's not the best pet for her, but I guess it'll do the job. It's gonna give her a 4% physical attack boost and some health as well. And also flapper's ability will give her a magic armor boost 30 seconds after the battle has started, right? So it's not too bad, it's not too great, but let's go ahead, let's give her that. So it gives her a little bit of a increase in damage there. So let's go ahead on to the next part. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is, obviously we're gonna go here and we're gonna forge her um awakened item here 50 times let's go ahead let's see get a little boost in this so this should also help her out a little bit more she's already enchanted uh if you missed the stream on sunday guys we already worked on her heroes village so her hero academy is already done so academy is done this one is not going to be obviously completely done but we're on the right step here so this should actually be everything that we need to upgrade it for so this is everything that you can possibly do for now and uh, other than that it is actually just time for us to go into a live battle and see what this girl can do i'm just quickly looking at her abilities physical pierce rating plus 30 physical attack another 70 and then max health at the bottom there so actually pretty cool pretty cool but we won't know anything until we take her into a battle so let's go right ahead all right so here we go guys a real live arena battle here with the creamy banana because who else but the creamy one, who else wants a dry ass banana when you can have a creamy one? So let's go ahead and let's see what this does in the arena here, guys. Um, so I put her in the back there. Obviously, she's a great backliner. All right, Magnus. Now, we're kind of uh, fortunate here because we're not facing Volko. Volko is a lot of backliners' worst enemy, all right? If you see Volko, you might want to avoid using Mera, to be honest, because... He tends to kill her really quickly here, but it looks like it's going pretty well here. Kara is going to take out the Prince. She's still freaking alive. There, Almost a lot of my frontliners are dead. She's the only one left. Oh, no. All right, so there's the Awakened ability. She should have died on that attack there, but instead of dying, she actually gained some health, and now she's dead, which is pretty bad because it's two on two. Kara is still alive because of her ability here. Yes, she's gaining the health, sleeping really good. I need her to ultimate now. Kara, ultimate! Yes! She got Melroth. He's dead. So it's 2 on 1. Rayman, Kara versus Octo. Let's see how this is going to play out here. I think I should get the, the win here, even if it's a timeout. Oh, no! No, no! If Kara dies, it's going to be 1 on 1. And then I'm at risk of losing because of... Okay, okay, perfect! Kara... Kara's a beast. But this is not about Kara, guys. This is about Mera, and I ended up getting the win here. So let's take a look at what she did here. And wow, damage-wise, that's phenomenal. Man, that's pretty sick. 115,000 damage. That's more than Volko. But Volko, this was a bad showing for him. Obviously, he died pretty quickly, and so did the Prince. So overall, not bad. We got the win here. But I'm still, I still have mixed feelings about Mera on the arena here. So let's keep going. Alright guys, so here we go, another arena battle. Let's see what's gonna happen here. This is for the number one spot. Can we get this win? This will be killer. And there's a Volko there, so I wanted to test her out against Volko. There she goes. She ultimates really fast. All of a sudden transforms into human mode here. Now she's in the opposite side, which is great because she's dodging Volko. That helps out a lot. So let's see what she can do. Oh, bang! She took out their backliner really quickly here. But can she avoid this ultimate? Yes! She avoided the ultimate from Volko. I think she's still alive. Oh! That's sick. That's really, really helpful that she avoided that because uh, that would have been catastrophic. Dead. And she's still alive. Oh my god. Where is she and how is she still alive here? I have no idea. But she's doing phenomenally here. I think there's only one left here. It's only... Yep, it's only... His Volko is the only one left here, guys. I got Petros and Mera. She's still got pretty much almost full health. We got the win! Oh my god. She's phenomenal. She did really well this fight. This fight, she killed it. Oh my god. Third best damage. And only three stars. 
that's pretty sick guys and that puts me at number one in the arena with that team and uh, I can just show you guys that was the team that I used right there we can set it on defense to see how it does but yeah very cool so you guys can see for yourself right there you got the number one win number one spot in that arena there and last opinion of Mera here let me just pull her up real quick is I think that she is pretty phenomenal guys I think that she is very very cool sick arena hero if you have a chance to get her you should definitely go and try to get her um but yeah she's doing a lot of work in the, in the arenas i really don't know how she's going to perform anywhere in the the hall of legends or in the raids just yet but i don't expect her to be too good in those right pretty much in the arenas she's a really sick hero all right so that'll be it for now i'm gonna end this awakening off here guys i will catch you guys next time on another soul hunters video till then have a good morning good afternoon good night Peace out, everybody.